Hi students, uh, in this video we are going to solve the fourth numerical from the exercise for the chapter motion in a plane and this is a fun question because in this question we have uh, been given a graph and based on this graph we have to identify certain quantities or certain conditions okay so this is sort of like a small detective work we are going to do so it's going to be fun let's see so sabse pehle, whenever we see a graph what i want you to do is understand what this graph represents okay so sabse pehle, axis pe dekho. so horizontal axis pe we have the quantity time and on the vertical axis we have the quantity velocity so this tells me that this is something between velocity and time and then in the part uh, in the graph you have something called as a curve okay so in this particular part we have the curve between points o a b and c so this represents so this curve this curve o a b c shows our velocity versus time relationship okay and this is an important relationship in motion because in this basis pe we can identify a lot of uh, quantities or a lot of parameters for the motion so this is a graph that shows the relationship between velocity and time and now let us uh, see how we can use this particular graph to calculate different uh, quantities given in the question so let's start with the first quantity that we need to identify and that's the initial speed of the car so by definition initial speed means uh, speed at time equals zero that is at the start of our motion so our time zero is point per hota hai and it's point where if you see velocity which is registered is also zero. So I can safely say that my initial speed for this particular example is zero meters per second. Very, very easy. Now let us move on to the second part of our question. And in this, we have to calculate the maximum speed attained by the car. And this is a pretty easy uh, thing to calculate as well. Just from glance basis, I can see that the maximum value of velocity ever achieved starts at point A and for uh, on, three second part on time and we get the value 20 meters per second and this is the velocity kahi hume graph par dikh nahi rahi hai. so our maximum velocity is 12 meters per second now let us move on to the third part of the question and is point say hamara question start to become a little more interesting fun right let's get to it so they have asked part of the graph showing that the acceleration is zero now, before we tackle into this particular section of the question, understand what acceleration represents. Acceleration simply represents the changes in velocity with respect to time. So when I say zero acceleration, what I'm trying to say is that my velocity is not changing with respect to time. And if you see, uh, the only section uh, where velocity has a constant value for increasing values of time is this section, that is the section between point A and B. So indirectly, I can say that this is the part which shows zero acceleration. Okay, so part AB or uh, segment AB shows uh, zero or no acceleration for this particular instance. Okay, acceleration. Okay, and another, uh, so this was uh, intuitive based. Another way to uh, calculate the same point is uh, we need to find section or parts of graph whose slope is zero. So what do we mean by slope? So slope of AB is equal to tan of angle between AB and horizontal so that is my x axis so but if you can see our line a b is actually parallel to our x axis or the time axis so in dono ke beach ka angle will be zero so tan of zero as we all know is zero so slope of a b or part a b is zero which represents that my acceleration at a b is zero okay so this was more of a methodical way to calculate the slope now let us move on to the fourth part of this particular uh, example. The fourth part is asking us to describe the area of the part, uh, area of the graph or the part of the graph which shows constant retardation. Now keep in mind retardation simply means negative acceleration. Okay, so, so we have two sets of areas. Uh, one is this area OA. Uh, let me just use a different color. 
first let me just get rid of all these annotations and now let me just use a different color uh, let's go with green okay so we have two lines so first line is this line oa which is making an angle with our horizontal so let me call this angle theta oa and then let me represent the other line with another cool color let me use red so we have a line b line between point b and c and this line this is region of graph is making an angle theta b c okay so whenever a curve makes an angle uh, whenever a velocity time curve makes an angle with the horizontal axis we say that in regions may acceleration present hai ab ye positive acceleration hai ki negative acceleration hai uska andaza hame in angles ke basis pe lagega so let us first calculate the slopes okay so for slope of oa is tan of theta o oa now if you look at this theta the value of this theta has to be between 0 or 90 okay and all the values of tan between the value uh, between 0 and 90 are sort of positive values okay so there is no case uh, that exists where this slope jo hai wo negative hoga. so this means that we have a positive acceleration in this region so this can't be our area of retardation so this can't be the value that we are seeking now let us move on to the second slope or the second area where slope uh, is some value this is between the region b and c so if we calculate slope of this angle b and c okay so if you see now let us look at this angle b and c now this from uh, from our observation we can say that this angle has to be greater than 90 and less than 180 so this angle ka value between somewhere between 90 to 180 and for this range tan is always a negative term okay this means that for this particular region my acceleration will be negative and that's what we were looking for right so i can say that the part the part of graph with retardation that is negative acceleration retardation is part b c okay so that's how we come at our conclusion and then the last part is to calculate the distance traveled by the car in the first second so this will be our part five in which we have to calculate distance and the beauty about velocity time curve is that uh, one property we just saw that if we calculate the slope of this curve we get acceleration and if we calculate the area under this curve so area under this curve is something like this so area marked by this curve we actually get distance so for the first six seconds so this comes out to be till this point uh, if we calculate the area under this particular quadrilateral so what is this quadrilateral this quadrilateral is quadrilateral o a b o a b d so uh, distance when till t equals six is area of our quadrilateral o a b d now if you look at this quadrilateral carefully we can say that this quadrilateral is made up of two simple shapes one is this triangle o a e and the other is this rectangle a b d e so i can say that area of quadrilateral o a is addition of area of rectangle a b d e and it is the area of triangle o a e and now we can calculate their areas quite easily so for calculating the area of this triangle we simply have to calculate height which is 20 minus 0 that is 20 units and base which is 3 minus 0 that is 3 units so this area is half into 3 into 20 
and then we need to calculate the area of rectangle so we need to calculate its length which is 20 minus uh, 0 that is 20 units and then we need to calculate its width which is 6 minus 3 that is 3 units again so the area of this rectangle will be 20 into 3 and if we solve this further we get our answer to be 30 plus 60 which is 90 meters so the distance travel for the first 90 for so the distance travel for the six second is 90 meters so this was our question number fourth from the exercise it's a graph based question uh, there are certain important properties you need to learn in order to solve this question so here is uh, if you want to take screenshots you can take screenshot of the first half of the question so this is where we solve from parts one and fourth of the question and then take the screenshot of the next part of the question that is between part that is the fifth part that's the distance part i hope you understand uh, understood this particular question thank you